Right, good afternoon everybody. Um, thanks for joining us for our first Harrogate College Apprenticeship webinar. Um, I'm going to be hopefully telling you some things about how apprenticeships work and how apprenticeships work at Harrogate College and answer some of your questions along the way. Um, so if we get started, interested in it, are you interested in an apprenticeship? Um, so really this uh, webinar is about answering some of your questions and queries that you may have and um, feel free to uh, ask any questions on the little uh, chat box along the side or wait till the end or feel free to contact me at any point after the webinar and ask whatever questions you may have. Um, so what is an apprenticeship? Uh, apprenticeships give you the opportunity to gain skilled employment and earn while you learn. Uh, many apprenticeships provide opportunities to progress to higher levels. Uh, so that means going from maybe a level two to a level three or even going up to a degree level apprenticeship. Um, so um, kind of a world's your oyster really with apprenticeships and what is available to you after you finish the apprenticeship that you're on. Uh, so that's both in terms of a job role and also gaining qualifications. And at Harrogate College, we have a wide range of apprenticeship options uh, covering all industry sectors. Uh, and then within the group, we're part of the Luminate group. Uh, it used to be called Lee City College, and now called Luminate. Uh, within that group, uh, we cover pretty much uh, nearly every apprenticeship that you can think of. And there are hundreds of different apprenticeships that you can uh, uh, join on to. So let's see. So um, an apprenticeship is a work-based training program, which allows you, allows you to earn a recognized qualification while gaining practical experience. Uh, so an apprenticeship is a com combination of workplace learning and offer job training. So you'll have offer job training as an apprenticeship. It's, 20, it's around 20%. I'll say it's around 20% because it can be um, calculated in different ways, but it's a 20% offer job cal um, uh, training that you will uh, participate in. That offer job training can look like anything from coming into college for a day a week, uh, perhaps having the assessor coming out and working with you uh, on site. Um, it all depends really on your apprenticeship and on your personal circumstance. And, and then that uh, relationship's built between yourself, the employer, and the college. So who can apply for an apprenticeship? It's, a, it's open to anybody over the age of 16. Uh, used to be that there used to be a cap, I think it was around 24, uh, and then it, I think it climbed at some point to another age, but, uh, but it's any age over 16, uh, but it's not, full, not currently in full-time education. So there's no age limits whatsoever for an apprenticeship now. So um, it's really a great opportunity for anybody maybe considering changing careers too. So not only is it for young people coming out of school and thinking about what they want to do, but there's also an opportunity there for people changing careers, maybe going into a job that they always fancied doing, but they don't really have the qualifications for it. IT comes to mind. A lot of people are wanting to get into IT and digital, but maybe feel like they've missed that opportunity of learning, but it's something that they're really passionate about. And that's certainly a, an option that they can have as going in through an apprenticeship to gain those qualifications. So do apprenticeships get paid? Yes, apprenticeships are paid positions. This is a this is a full-time job. It's both a full-time job and a full-time education. So it blends the two really nicely. Um, but it's a full-time paid position. And there are national minimum wages. Uh, so I'll tell you what national minimum wage is first. And then I'll tell you, talk to you about how that can practically work in the workplace. So the current national minimum wage for an apprenticeship at 16 to 18 is £4.15 an hour. It is very low, I admit, but uh, there are other benefits that may kick in to there. There's universal credit that you can act as a top up to benefits. But that's for a 16 to 18 year old. Over a 19, then it becomes your national minimum wage, right? Uh, so the national minimum wage uh, applies for anybody over 19. Some companies choose to pay their apprenticeships more. So it's, that's really a, a discussion or a, uh, something that's between you and your employer. Uh, some employers will pay their regular rates of pay, the same as what they do uh, to uh, their normal staff. I say normal staff for people that aren't an apprenticeship. They pay their, that rate of pay to apprenticeships. 
So when you're looking for an apprenticeship, when you're starting out and looking for that apprenticeship role, and if that's something that's really important to you to be getting paid more, then really you're looking for those apprenticeship roles that maybe are getting paid more. But there is a national minimum wage involved, um, but really the how much you get paid is that um, discussion that will take place between you and your employer as you uh, as you come on board. Um, so what kind of apprenticeships are available? Uh, there are, I mentioned before, there are hundreds of different apprenticeships available to you. And at Luminate Education Group, uh, we offer a significant amount of these apprenticeships. Um, so we're uh, connected, Harrogate College is connected to not only uh, various colleges over at Leeds, but Keefley College is involved in that. Keefley College, big shout out to them. They do a great work with uh, textiles. Um, Keefley is a very uh, textile driven uh, uh, economy in that area um, sort of has been for hundreds and hundreds of years as you probably know and the college there do a lot of work to do around textiles so that's still some of its dominant in those areas what that means is if you were interested in a textile apprenticeship locally uh, then we can support that uh, alongside Keefley and you can still um, work with Harrogate College and hopefully that that seam between the two will be seamless you won't really see that happening the wiring so to speak the taking place behind the scenes uh, we can take care of that for you but um yeah so whatever apprenticeship you're interested in doing there's a way for harrogate college to tap into that to work with some of our other colleges that we're connected to and to del deliver that apprenticeship to you um so do apprenticeships have different levels um, short answer to that is yes they do um, there's an intermediate apprenticeship that's a level two qualification um, within that level two within all apprenticeships I should say there is some type of functional skills on maths and English uh, requirement I will say that it's something that's been kind of put uh, on top of apprenticeships but don't panic about that a lot of people panic when they hear that there's a maths and English qualification that they have to do um, Harrogate College is there to support you through that you have the entire time of the apprenticeship to uh, work on that and to pass those qualifications and um, the qualifications are never um, uh, sort of a degree level you know uh, it's always something that's manageable over the t course of the apprenticeship uh, where applicable there's technical certificates not all apprenticeships uh, come with a technical certificate it all depends on the the uh, qualification for the apprenticeship itself uh, so some do, some do not, um, and that's really a dis um, uh, it's something that you'll find out as you pick the apprenticeship that you think is right for you. Um, so once completed, students can either work in their chosen field or, or move on to an advanced apprenticeship. Um, actually, that move on can actually also include working in your uh, in the career choice in the job that you're in right now. You don't need to change jobs um, just to clarify what that um, uh, slide says it could be that you could finish your level two in say business admin and then continue into business admin level three uh, with the um, same employer that you're working with so it's not like you have to go and change jobs because now you've picked a higher level apprenticeship uh, then we go into the advanced apprenticeship. I did just mention the level three, but apprenticeships will gain a level three competence qualification. Uh, that'll include um, a qualification at level three, which is equivalent to an A-level standard. Uh, again, it'll involve include your functional skills, uh, work, your maths and English. Um, again, a technical certificate where applicable. Uh, when, they, when you finish your advanced apprenticeship, you'll have the option to progress on to a multi or highly, highly skilled supervisory role, a professional management role, or the uh, opportunity to complete a higher uh, qualification. So uh, it's really about progression. If you're happy with a level two and that's all you, you think you need and you can stop there and continue to work in that industry, but if you want to progress up, you want a level three, you want a level four, you don't want a level five, and you can progress up that way. Really, apprenticeships offer you all the benefits of work where you're working, you're getting paid, and all the benefits of an education where you're developing that education and developing those qualifications. So when you come out of that educational period, 
uh, and you've got all the qualifications you need to work in the, your chosen uh, sector. Uh, I just mentioned there, higher apprenticeships uh, will gain a level four competence or above, as well as functional skills, and in some case, cases will include a foundation degree. So uh, the benefits of an apprenticeship, uh, it's practical training. I mentioned this before, you earn while you learn. Um, big selling point for apprenticeships that uh, a lot of people are more uh, comfortable uh, in a uh, learning and an apprenticeship environment. Um, I spoke to uh, somebody um, a couple of weeks ago, um, wanted to do an electrical apprenticeship, um, struggled at school, struggled with math, struggled with a lot of aspects of the school. Um, but he's been doing some work with an, with an electrician and, and he struggled with maths and I asked him and I said, how are you managing to cope in your, you know, working you know, as an electrician when you really, when you really struggle with maths? Um, how are you able to do that when you say that you, you don't like maths very much? And he saw a thought for a moment and he said, oh, well, it's a lot easier, you know, it just makes sense when I'm working. Um, and that's it, so, because it's a practical application of those processes, those thought processes. And for some people, that really matches their their persona, their character, that uh, they're learning on the job, and then they're able to, uh, you know, sort of retain that information more because they're using more of their senses to learn. So uh, it's a great opportunity there for people who are more hands-on uh, to develop the same skills, the same qualifications as classroom-based learning. Um, so there's one-to-one -one training with a reputable employer. Um, so we work with fantastic employers in the Harrogate area. Um, big, so again, a big shout out to them. The, uh, uh, the Harrogate employers are, are really fantastic and really want to develop uh, apprenticeships. They're, um, uh, they get on board with this. They really want to, uh, in their work, often work, in their words, they want to take care of their apprenticeships, of their apprentices. They want to see apprentices do well. We find that especially true, true in the trades. A lot of people in trades um, started themselves as an apprentice. apprentice. Um, so they want to feel like they're passing that baton on, so to speak, to the next generation and really sort of develop people because they want people to be as success of, successful as they are or have those same opportunities. So we see that across the board with, the, with uh, companies in Harrogate. Um, I speak to a lot of them daily um, and they're all... Uh, enthusiastic about trying to offer apprenticeships. Uh, if they can't offer me one at that particular time, I often find that they're ever, you know, really apologetic about it, saying that, you know, we would, and you know, if one if one comes available, we want to be able to offer it. Um, so it's you've really got employers on your side when it comes to apprenticeships. So it's a great opportunity there too. There was no student loans or debts, uh, another uh, key factor. So if you want to develop uh, your training, if you want to continue in that education, uh, there's no student loans involved in there, there's no debts, you come out of the uh, the apprenticeship already in a job, already getting paid and not having to owe money to anybody, so there's no uh, money that you might have to owe at a later date once you earn X amount or anything like that. And, and again, it results in a, quali a professional qualification, the same as uh, a full-time education. So how do you get started? Um, well, you can contact the college. Uh, we have a dedicated apprenticeship team. I'm on that team. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, our email address for that apprenticeship team is apprenticeships at harrogate.ac.uk. I will say that right now we've got some uh, technical issues with our servers. You may be aware of that. Um, there's some things taking place, which means all our servers are down. Our websites are down. We do have a uh, micro site available at the moment um, but you can contact us by either contacting the college and asking to speak into speak to the apprenticeship team uh, at the moment we're also doing enrollment at the Harrogate, Co at Harrogate College um, so there's people there um, sort of throughout the day uh, carrying out enrollment so you can always uh, call or um, just come into the college and ask to speak to somebody about apprenticeships I would advise but even if you're not sure about apprenticeships and you think you want to go uh, down the you know, full-time education route, which is fantastic, um, I would advise you to maybe have a, a, a chat with us about apprenticeships just to uh, make sure that you're sort of um, 
have have all the uh, things in front of you that you may, may need to make a, an informed decision really um, you may find that apprenticeships are right for you uh, you may want to start out by um, classroom based learning well, whichever one of those you want to uh, go with um, I would you know recommend both of them is all I can say but certainly uh, contact us if you have any queries or uh, you've got something in your mind that you might want to do in the future but you don't really know how to get there um, apprenticeships could be the option to that and uh, don't give up with apprenticeships they're worth it's worth having it's worth uh, going down that route and coming out of it at the other end and get being in the your chosen career uh, as a qualified apprentice now you've got all the qualifications um, whether that's to uh, your goal one day is to work and in, work independently and own your own company uh, but know how to do that apprenticeship apprenticeships can show you the way to that or if there's a particular industry that you're absolutely desperate to get into i mentioned it before it or digital um, growing markets and growing markets in the harrogate area um, then apprenticeships again are a way to get out into there uh, both as a, as a uh, school leaver and for somebody maybe looking at change in their career choice uh, and getting into something completely new uh, but feeling like they don't have the qualifications to do that where do they start apprenticeships can offer that um, to you um, some slides on followers so we've got the Harrogate College at Facebook uh, Harrogate Col on Twitter and Harrogate College on uh, College on Instagram um, many of us myself included are on LinkedIn um, so you can connect that way too I get a lot of messages through LinkedIn as well um, so really we're covering all the social media uh, so of avenues of being able to contact uh, feel free to uh, contact any one of us um, that way um, or if you just, um, know somebody at the college and you need a contact number speak to them and ask them to uh, you know pass on details to me and I'll be happy to uh, respond to you um, so that uh, kind of brings us to the end of that um, uh, brief uh, webinar I don't see any questions coming up that haven't uh, been answered um, if you do have any questions and uh, please feel free to contact me uh, send me an email through that email uh, call the college drop into the college I'll be more than happy to uh, speak to you and hopefully um, set you on the path of uh, some type of education whether it's at Harrogate College or at Harrogate College through apprenticeships it's that's okay with everybody just want to say thank you very much for your time and um, I look forward to hearing you from you thank you